Hello, um, I'm doing a painting this time. It's a canvas, it's a nice length of an A3 each side, so it's a reasonably big canvas. Um, this is me preparing a background colour, which I later decided to completely cover, but never mind. Um, the plan was that I was going to do a close up of an asteroid base, and then there's a a planet behind it, the a lava world. It's out in Colonia actually, this, this one is, so it's got tons of stars and I've tried to, um, in, in this particular picture, towards the end, I start putting the stars in and try and give them that weird kind of jelly-like tapioca effect. They've got kind of a glow round the stars have in uh, near the centre of the galaxy. You get a, a particular look to the stars. I'm just uh, starting to colour in the rock in a, in a flat tone that's um, that's going to be easier to, to sort of plan on top of. I wasn't going to particularly just do this in paint. I'm probably going to use chalks, I think. And I did, in fact, use chalks, what I'm saying. Uh, threw everything at you, I could really, because uh, it just makes it a bit easier. Anything that I can cheat with to make things easier for myself, I do, which is fine. Anyway, this is um, this is a picture of Robert in Rock. Uh, Robert in Rock is in Carcosa. Carcosa is in Colonia, and Colonia is home to various different factions uh, now, now that the people that went out there have sort of solidified in their places, and there's been a bit of a uh, bit of ructions around uh, Robert in Rock, because um, some random faction, they're called the Nameless, they're an anarchist faction, so um, make of that what you will. They ended up taking over this, this, this asteroid base, this hollowed out... Um, pebble in the sky anyway but yeah I, I really like the inside of asteroid bases the fact that they've mined and hewed this cavern from the rock anyway yeah they they um they've taken it over and then randomly just just amazingly the the shipyard started showing the opportunity to buy you know federal and alliance vessels so you can get a gunship and a and a fast and a, uh, and all of the alliance things like chieftain and challenger and and you can get a Type 10, uh, and you couldn't before. Although now, obviously, with the advent of fleet carriers, you can. So it's all a bit. Well, it's it's all high drama and lots of lots of people having big fights in space and getting annoyed with each other about it and and who's right and who's wrong. Who knows? I, well, I don't. It's not. I don't live out there. But uh, it seems to have kept a lot of people busy and lots of uh, little bulletin boards pinging through the night as they plan their attacks and their counter-attacks and their peace treaties and their coalitions of aggro and whatever. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, no, my interest here is that lava world and how close it is to this asteroid base. So this asteroid base is circling the lava world and um, obviously the asteroid's not melty, which it would be. Uh, uh, like, if, it, if the lava world's there, like, I don't know, 1500 degrees pottery kiln hotter than a pottery kiln so anything there is going to just vitrify and melt and so you know if you're on that lava world your bones would turn to dust and all would be left <laughs> well nothing much i wouldn't have thought trace elements who knows powder so yeah i mean it's pretty pretty harsh out there on that so imagine this uh i'm assuming that the uh, the toast rack on that uh, Asteroid bases made a pretty stern stop. Well, I mean, my ships have found them to be quite durable when they've banged into them. So potentially, yes, they can, they can, they can stand up to the incredible heat of being that close to a, a system star. So I'm doing all these different like towers and beacons and bits of infrastructure there on this exterior to the base and trying to overcoat it and make it look half decent. I'm really, really at this like i want to basically i probably need to use a felt pen that would have been a good cheat or do it in layers like i know i should have done i should have avoided doing the toast track first but it was so complex that that area outside of the toast track with all of the all of the visual clutter it's so detailed and so complicated There's so many struts and bars you gotta hand it to the programmers that it really they're just colossally detailed interesting things to look at and and for someone like me that just likes to copy things 
I, it was it's i i yeah i find them quite challenging to draw because there's just so much going on there so many layers of different cables and angles and intersecting barriers and basically on this i just did not finish it i did some zigzags and left it there i'm hoping that the general theme will 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 suggest sufficiently what it looks like without it being without it being too ropey it is i like knobbly rocks because you can kind of fake the knobbly rocks none of those knobbly rocks are where they were on the picture but you wouldn't know <laughs> but no i think there's some elements about this i quite like the light and shade's quite nice when i got to do the name of the station on the outside of the asteroid base there on that circular thing i painted it in with a thin white paintbrush i i, I thought that worked out quite well actually because when you'd done it I, I would then i put tones and chalks on top of it to dull it back and had shadows going over the outside of it so i think that that was probably the most successful the lava planet looked nice about halfway through <laughs> And then looks less good towards the end, which is unfortunate. But you know, you ca you can't, you know, you can't, you no know, crying over spilt lava, is there? I made the mistake of because I don't, I know I'm going to go over it with me, me arm. So I popped um, a bit of gloss spray on top of it to try and cover it, and then I took out quite a lot of the chalk from the background, made it look less exciting. So I had to go over a bit of it in the end to make it look good again. But it didn't quite get that subtlety that I had before I sprayed it. I'm a numpty. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Look, this, this was catastrophically bad. See, on the original picture, you've got reflection from the star, which is making the lava look white. But in actual fact, on mine, I just made it look like it's smoking. And it, it's not, it's not, it just looks really bad. I, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. No one really expects it to look exactly like the screenshot. It would be so nice if it did do. I really like um, the asteroid bases. I think they look great. They're so different. On the old game, when I used to play the old game, you used to get rock hermits. And those rock hermits were inside inside asteroids and you used to go buy them and, and they were like black markets, you know, you could you could then there'd be mean old uh, pirates appear around the rock hermit as well. That was quite a, an unusual thing really, that little bit of variety in the game, which is a rather more simple game than we have now. It required your imagination a lot more. But I still I still liked it. It was cool. And there's a bit of the um, the galaxy, but unfortunately I, I did it really badly on this one, the, the Milky Way itself. Uh, Milky Way is really easy to do in chalk because you just use just that dusty, dusty chalk quality to um, fake it, fake that millions and millions of star thing. Whereas with this I've ended up having to use pencil crayon and pencil crayon creates lines and not dots. So it, it looks a little bit... Um, yeah, it looks a little bit less less realistic -y, evocative of the galaxy. There's a close-up of the T10 smashing through. I wonder whether it got through that toast rack. I bet it didn't. It looks like it's going to hit it. I would, if I was in that T10, there's no way I, I'd get through that toast rack. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching uh, and, and listening if, if you could bear it. <laughs> See you later. Bye.